And today we're getting ready to see kids of all ages in costumes on the streets and in search of candy and treats. But how can you make sure your little ghouls and goblins are staying safe while they trick or treat? 7 Eyewitness News reporter Liz Loon with some tips from police on how to keep Halloween fun, but also safe. Liz. Yeah, well, while, uh, while we are on the theme of kids, it's hard to believe that it's Halloween. And while there's plenty of fun to be had by all, the American Academy of Pediatrics says parents, when it comes to their safety, everything from who your kids are going with to what they're wearing and eating, their safety makes a difference. Officer Paul Nazareth with Chictawanka Police walk me through some safety tips for these kids. When it comes to costumes, everything, get this, head to toe should be fire resistant. Dark clothing should have reflectors to help drivers see and masks shouldn't obstruct their vision or breathing. Even try going for non-toxic makeup if that's what they want. Young kids always should be supervised. That's under the age of 12, of course, and teens, they should stay in groups. And then of course, how can we forget what we all want? The candy. We want to make sure that the parents are checking the candy, of course. Um, we want to make sure that nothing's tampered with or open. If it's open, throw it out, or if it looks suspicious, by all means, call the police department. And we want to watch for like repackaged stuff where they're just taking stuff and throwing it in different bags for the kids. Yeah, some really good tips there. Officer Nazareth says encourage the well lit neighborhoods and streets. Advise your kids to never enter a home and wait until they're actually at their own home and safe. And candy has been expected by their parents before eating it. You should also think about light. Some candy pails actually have lights on them. I saw it for the first time this weekend. And if you can't find one of those, you can always bring a flashlight, a glow stick. There are many other do's and don'ts, and you can check all those out on our WKBW app. You can also check out our website right now at the digital dashboard. Liz Lewin, 7 Eyewitness News. 651. Uh